Thank you once again for joining us here or joining me here at the uh, Factory Studios in Kaisersau in Germany. I am Billy Flint and you're listening to the Billy Flint Experience. Okay, we're going to get right into it. This is a news flash. It's all over uh, the internet. Nicki Minaj, famous rapper from... Uh, America has been detained in the Netherlands. I don't know what is it is it is it is it the uh, is it is it a week of um, a week for Americans behaving badly in foreign countries. I I, don't, I I just I just can't seem to understand this. We have uh, reports coming out of the Netherlands. The Nicki Minaj plane or baggage from her plane. I guess she was uh, scheduled to do a concert in the UK. And her, uh, her baggage, her baggage has been detained for... I, I I don't know. I wouldn't say illegal contraband, but uh, soft drugs is what they are reporting from the Netherlands. The news coming out of the Netherlands. Uh, again, I don't know whether it was in her baggage or her uh, her staff security. Um, uh, her handlers whomever it shall be but she has been retained uh, um, for questioning and of course her baggage have been uh, searched again this is a news flash and my thing is <laughs> I, I don't know is it what is it with these celebrities are, are they that dense to not know it is so simple to just gather gather information whether you have uh, your handlers or your your team, your manager your whomever that's responsible for uh, getting you to these venues in, in foreign countries, getting you there, doing your concert and then leaving safely to travel back to the United States. This is really embarrassing as an American uh, me living here in Germany there's there's things that I know off the rip how to handle myself when I travel to different countries and to fly into the Netherlands of course um, the uh, I don't want to say I, I don't want to say because I don't I don't want it to be a uh, I don't want my podcast to be taken down, but you're in the Netherlands. Of course, everyone knows that the Netherlands is it's legal to partake in um, I don't know what we want to call it. Uh, uh, cannabis. It's legal there. Well, it's not really legal for expats or for people who you know they have they have stipulation they have laws but you travel you travel to the, the to the ne- Netherlands of um mainly to Amsterdam there's coffee shops that you can go and you can partake into a variety of different um strands of grass cannabis all day every day while you're there you know just to buy by the laws you don't bring contraband into the country and you definitely do not take it out of the country and for someone like Nicki Minaj she should know better 
There is no excuse. She should know better than to try to pull any stunt like this. And to make matters worse is that her attitude towards the um, the airport staff and again uh, she for whatever reason she attempted to record this and maybe she's doing this for I don't know for uh, publicity uh, to garner more uh, listeners or viewers to her to her social media site if anything it makes her looks it makes her look really bad she's a clown I hate to say that I had to put it to that but it really is it's embarrassing again as an American living here in Germany and for my fellow Americans that travel to Europe which she doesn't represent me I don't really care but the whole point is that again you have a situation in Europe where a lot of European nations, a lot of European countries, they, they just don't like Americans because we have this brash, over the top arrogance about our attitude when we travel to different countries. We we expect people to to bow down just because of the fact that one, if it's if it's a celebrity uh, that we expect. Or that they expect special treatment. So we have uh, we have uh, Nicki Minaj. She traveled. Uh, I guess I don't know whether it was a private her her private plane or whether it was a commercial airline. But she was detained because uh, the airport staff wanted to check her luggage, and of course they find this contraband and. She's debating, she's arguing, she's with attitude, you know, that black woman, Uh, attitude, the neck rolling, spit flying, attitude, you know, you know, don't tell me what to do. I want to see my lawyer. That's what she uh, quoted is saying to one of the staff members that she's not going to go anywhere to be questioned without a lawyer as if a lawyer an American lawyer is going to have jurisdiction over the laws in another country I don't know what she's thinking again I don't know where do they get their, their, their intellect I just don't get it, but we have a recording. Well, listen to it. They just said I have to get in this van and go to the precinct with them with no lawyer present. To make a statement with no lawyer present. After the pre-rolls they found from bags that they were not authorized to take, that we did not know what they took and we asked for our bags back. And after the security said, oh, those pre-rolls are his. They're telling me I have to go to the police precinct. Simply because, well, you know what? We'll get into that later. Hey, open it. Where am I going? For what? For what? Why, Why am I going here? Hello. Yeah. Your Honor, arrest. I'm the police officer. I'm the deputy of the public prosecutor. Uh, we were bringing to the police station. What? Yes. For what? You can go uh, because you are uh, carrying drugs. I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question here. Uh, I think it's. I'm not smart carrying to go drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. You can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. It's no, I need a lawyer present now. Okay, please. Where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm have going. You to go to the police station. What, what, how, what address is that? It's 
five minutes away. Uh, it's they, five they minutes away. What's, what's the address of the police precinct? When you uh, will catch your next show, we have to do it very fast. And we will help, but... For, you, you're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, yeah. We talk... They, they will help to try to get you there. They'll help to try to get me to yes. my show? So How? Uh, to do it as soon as possible. But what, can, what am I doing? What am I doing? I never gave anyone arrest. my... I never... Oh, I'm... Oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But... Yes. Under arrest for what? Okay. Stop filming now. I'm under arrest for what? Okay. Do you Stop know what happened now. when I came you here? You have to go inside. Huh? What you say? Can you please stop filming and just step in the car for us? No, I need a lawyer, but I, because I don't know where I'm going. You will get a lawyer at the office. You can contact the lawyer, but if you just step in the car, then we, it will go as fast as possible. And who's going in the in this in this vehicle? He will go with you. I told y'all they was gonna try to store for about four to five hours because it's all about trying to make me late to my show. So you guys, they just said that I have to get in this van and make a statement with no lawyer present. Where am I going? For what? For what? Why am I going here? Hello. Yeah. You're under arrest. I'm the police officer. I'm the deputy of the public prosecutor. Uh, we will bring to the police station. What? Yes. For what? You can go uh, because you are uh, carrying drugs. I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question here. Uh, I think it's. I'm not smart carrying to go drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. You can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. What am I doing? I you never gave anyone. Arrest. my... I never oh I'm oh so I'm under arrest. Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? Okay, so she's arguing with the staff at the airport. And her her attitude, her nasty attitude is like you know, I'm a I'm a star, I'm a celebrity, I'm an American, and I'm not going anywhere with you. I didn't bring anything here and why are you checking my luggage I need a lawyer and I've traveled many time to, times to the Netherlands and they are some of the, the most respectful people out of all the, uh, all, the, all the European nations European countries here in Europe in the EU, they're some of the nicest people, some of the most respectful people. And for her to come over there with that type of attitude or come over here with that type of attitude. It's appalling. It's just it's really embarrassing. And then for her to uh, spin it to make it seem like, oh, they are the ones who are causing her to miss her concert. Which incidentally, her concert in the UK has been canceled because of her not showing up. Once again, another celeb fumbling fumbling the bag, fumbling her not making the money so simple so easy how how hard how hard can it be you're invited to come to another country to perform you know get on stage twerk your ass 
know, do your dance, do your song, do your rap. And then she spins it and she wants to blame the staff for her missing her concert. And they're saying, like, you know, just come on in and, and answer some questions. Just have some questions. She could have went simply because she, she, she could have just went into the office, answered the questions. Whichever the questions that they had to ask, she could have just answered those questions. She could have been on her way. Could have been a misunderstanding. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. You know, we went to a couple of coffee houses. I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I didn't know that I put a couple of them in my bag. I'm sorry. Here, here you go. Pay the fine. She could have been on her way. But no, she wanted to stand there and argue. Not only argue, but record the whole event. And, and the officer said, would you please stop recording? Why are you recording? Stupidity. Ignorance. That's shameful. And again, it's embarrassing for her to be as old as she is. Still acting like she's in her 20s. It's a 40 plus woman. 40 plus African-American woman. Acting like this. And again, as I said in my last podcast, this is the number one reason why a lot of European countries, a lot of Europeans view Americans as arrogant and don't want, don't even want to deal with them as tourists. And I can completely understand why. With that type of attitude when it's not even it's not even needed. It's not even necessary. Just keep your ass over in America. Don't even come over. Don't even come over to Europe. Because you're not really needed. There's plenty of musicians, There's plenty of uh, hip hop artists over here in, 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 in Europe, throughout Europe and different countries. There's plenty of music, plenty of performers. Great performers. She's not needed. It should be a privilege on her part, her mentality to think it's a privilege to travel to these countries to perform for her fans. But this goes to show you that most of these celebrities don't give less than a crap about their fans. They don't care because of their their attitudes. And how they show how they show their ass <laughs> for the world to see. And then for 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 these very same celebrities to to spin this narrative as if they there is this big boogeyman, this Illuminati and you know them they don't want me to perform. They want me to, you know, they they want me to fumble the bag. They don't want me to collect my money. But that's not what the situation is. Again, this is the Netherlands. It's like bringing candy to a candy store. It's like. um, It's like bringing coca leaves to Colombia. (laughs) It's beyond it's beyond comical. But again, this is breaking news. Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj was detained in the Netherlands. Of course, uh, she she I, I guess she posted whatever fine that she was made to pay, and she's on her way. She's been released. But again, it's 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 embarrassing. It's very very embarrassing, and it's like again, Americans. It makes it makes us all look bad when we when we come to these European countries with this attitude, this arrogance. And this is why a lot of countries don't like to deal with Americans or they view Americans as being very self-centered, very arrogant. And it makes it, it puts a bad name on all Americans when all Americans don't act like this. 
especially the ones that are not celebrities. Maybe this is a celebrity thing. Maybe it's it's, it's that level of celebrity. So what is it? What is it called? Celebrity? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But it's something to think about. It's really something to think about. I, I don't I don't know whether again, you know, I, I have to blame their handlers or their, their team. Or better yet, she should know better. She's old enough to know better. She, she's she's traveled all over the world. She's been doing this music for quite some time, for at least a decade or more. I don't know. More? A couple of decades at least? She should know better by now. She's old enough. But again, like I said, I don't know. Maybe it's just this week. It's just uh, (laughs) you have uh, the rapper Tiger and Travis Scott getting into a fight over in Cannes, over in in, uh, south of France. I think it was yesterday they got into an altercation, a brawl, a fight. So I don't know, I guess it's just, it's just, this is the week for Americans behaving badly in the European countries. And it's kind of sad because you have, these are supposed to be your A-listed performers, entertainers, and, and this is what they're showing the world. It's that America is, is extremely dysfunctional. When it comes to entertainers, so again, breaking news this took place today over in the Netherlands. Nicki Minaj detained for having contraband in her luggage, but it has been also reported that she has been released. She probably paid the fine or whatever it was needed for her to be on her way. You know, it is what it is. Thank you so much for joining me once again. This is Billy Flynn, and this is the Billy Flynn Experience. Have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you again soon.